right, part 45, who the fuck did I marry? So we are now end of July, August time frame. During this time, um, Legion basically disappeared. Remember, I'm still waiting on the final divorce decree to come up. I'm actually waiting for the 30 days to be up so I can file the divorce settlement form. So I'm waiting on that on those 30 days to be up. I'm playing nice with him. I'm being cordial. I've I have done uncovered all kinds of stuff. But just in case he was going to act a fool, I was trying to be cordial. So I had spoken to him on like a Monday and I was trying to get a hold of him for something. But I'm the one that initiated a phone call in the coming days. Never heard from him. Never heard from him at all. He wasn't, his phone was um, was dead. Um, it was going straight to voicemail. And I genuinely was worried. A few days turned into a week. By the time I hadn't heard from him in a week, because I knew he was not living anywhere but his car. That, I knew that. So this is what happened, y'all. <laughs> um, I first reached out on Facebook. Remember, even though he has told me that he had all these siblings, we know he didn't have all these siblings. But remember, I told y'all I had met the brother in Augusta and I had met the brother in Baltimore. These are people I've met. The brother in Baltimore I talked to on FaceTime. The brother in Augusta, I've actually physically met, hugged, shake hands, all that. Um, so I reached out to on Facebook to people that I remember him talking about all the time. The friend Omar, the brother in Augusta, the brother in Baltimore, um, another cousin in Augusta. I was doing a search for these people's names, just like, hey, have you heard from Legion? The brother in Augusta told me, no, I haven't heard from him. I've been trying to reach him, um, but the phone's going straight to voicemail. I knew he was living in his car. So my brain was doing everything it could not to go on the deep end. I reached out on Facebook to the brother in Baltimore. And I said, you know, hey, it's gave him my name. And I said, um, have you heard from Legion? Now, mind you, the brother in Baltimore and him have talked, talked on speakerphone. I guess it's important that I make that distinction. They have talked on speakerphone. So I know that they have talked at least in 2020. So I said to him, again, according to Legion, they talk all the time. But the, I have heard them on the phone in 2020. So I said, have you talked to him? <sighs> the brother from Baltimore informs me, no, I ain't talked to him. He owes me money. So I ain't got nothing to say to him. And I said, wait a second. Like, he was telling me that y'all are brothers. He was like, man, he's like a brother. But I don't fuck with it. I don't fuck with him because he owes me money. So they had not spoken. This is now July 2021. They had not spoken in well over six months. So all the phone calls, this is what it means, guys. All the phone calls that he had with the brother in Baltimore in 2021 were not real. Then I reached out to the 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 Omar guy. And I and I remember the story was is that he and he and him known each other's years since California worked together at the condiment company. I reached out to Omar and said, you know, have you heard from Legion by any chance? Explained who I was. He responds with, and I'll never forget it. He responds with, no, I have not heard from him. I have absolutely no contact with him whatsoever. We are not friends. And I would appreciate if you do not reach out to me again about him. The stories I was told was that this dude is supposedly his best friend. Shocking moment. So they had not spoken in years. They're not cool. He does not fool with them. Okay. Went on to the next person, a female cousin I had met. She said, no, um, I have not heard from him. Why would I hear from him? 
um, we we're, we don't really talk. Like, I think she was genuinely weirded out by the fact that I'm reaching out to her out of the blue asking, hey, by any chance, have you talked to my soon-to-be ex-husband? So what I discovered in the... Because he ended up being gone for two weeks. What I discovered in those two weeks... Let me be very clear with the statement I'm getting ready to make. I called every... I reached out to every person I know who apparently has had some form of relationship with him. Either he said that they were friends, they talked on the phone, he said they hung out. Um, The brother in Baltimore, I was told, had been to the house while I was at work. Brother in Baltimore said, no, that, that never happened. I've never been to your house. All these people knew that Legion was a liar. And I think that they all felt bad with the exception of the Omar guy felt bad that I was kind of just discovering what they've known for years in those two weeks I found out every single person I reached out to not a single one of them gave a shit if that man was dead or alive all of them had the attitude some even said it no I haven't heard from him I don't care to hear from him. It was as if it was for me, it was such a sad moment because I discovered this man has no friends. Fuck whatever he has said. I am now able to prove it. He has no friends. There is nobody who was concerned that they have not heard or seen him in over two weeks, some people months, one guy years, none of them were concerned. So basically what I'm saying is that I discovered he had burned bridges with everyone. Burned bridges with family, burned bridges with so-called friends, burned bridges with fake brothers, fake sisters, fake aunties, uncles, everything. He had burned bridges with everyone. And for me, that was more telling than anything else. Yes, I knew he was a liar. Um, Yes, I knew he had made stuff up. I, I was genuinely surprised to discover nobody gave a shit about this man. No one. I I had never met every single family member, but the fact that he was living in his car, the fact that he wasn't bathing and was um, just had disappeared was shocking to me. So where was he for those two weeks? Glad you asked. He had checked himself into a behavioral hospital in Augusta. Why? Not to get help. No, this is July in Georgia. It's hot as hell. It's sweaty. It's damp. It's humid. It's everything. He checked himself into a hospital so he could stop sleeping in his car for two weeks. When he checked himself in, they took his phone. And that's why no one was able to get a hold of him. And by no one, I mean me. He checked himself into a hospital so that he could have a bed for a couple of weeks. That's the type of human being that I was dealing with. 